All right, people, what up? It is your man, DJ Ashar, coming at you with the first episode of the DJ Ashar What the F You Want Me to Do podcast. So, we're going to jump straight in it. Family and friends. What the F you want me to do? Now, dig this. Check it out now. I'm only one person, one individual. I know I cannot make everybody happy at one time, nor do I try. So what the F you want me to do? Now, with that being said, let's look at it like this. I have six children, five baby mamas. My children are grown, all except for one, which I still pay child support on for the last one to four different people for one child. All right. Also, as well, I have a wife with three grown children as well. All right. We're going to keep moving right along now. There's a lot of grandchildren. Not getting into that just yet. But what we're going to get into next is I'm a convicted felon. It's been since 1996. Um, I'm a convicted felon no more since 1996. And I am one and a half times removed with recidivism. Right, but we're gonna keep moving right along. Convicted felon, I'm limited in my movement for as transportation. Plus, I'm on workers' comp, been on workers' comp for almost about a year now. Plus, wife just had a second knee surgery, she's out of work right now as well home i gotta take care of home and guess what bills don't stop for nobody they still keep moving right along all right so now you got individuals that's almost 30 years old that's grown wanting help it's no problem with uh Wanting help and getting help. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. But dig this though. Help. All right. So you try to help people. People cuss you out, talk to you any kind of way, like a dog. Then when they start talking back to you, they always, they don't pick up the phone no more and call you and say, hey, how you doing? Or check on you. They text you. What do they text? I want, can you, will you? Things of that nature. They want you to do something for you. Don't even call and say, hey, how you doing? They text you wanting something. After, they don't cuss you out. So, when they can't get their way after that, they go to other family members and friends and talk about you for not helping. But I'll be damned. And the thing about it is, the people that they talk to, they go talk to other people asking why that. I didn't do this or I didn't do that for this person. And it's a revolving cycle because remember the number of children that I have. All right. So they go to other people talking about why they can't get help from me. And those other people go to other people and say, why is he not helping? After they didn't cuss you out now, the first person that, you know, starting this chain of Communication, this chain of poison, right? 
So, you know, nobody never comes to me and asks anything. They don't know what's going on, nor do they care, which doesn't bother me at all. My thing is, uh, with all that's going on, nobody never looks at what the next person or individual has going on. <clears throat> Neither do they talk to them about any of the stuff that they have going on. They're just looking at what they can and cannot get, and when they can't get it, they get upset. With that being said, what the F you want me to do? Now, remember, they going on 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. They going on this type of age. This is how old they are. Then, what's getting me is, I'm the, not the first line of help. I'm the secondary or the third. People want to ask why I'm not, I'm the one not helping. Well, the people that is responsible, why are you not asking them first of why they're not helping? You understand what I'm saying? I'm not the first line. It's other people that need to be doing what they need to do and taking care of their responsibilities. But nobody's talking about why those people are not the ones helping. And the people around them are not helping. They always talking about why I am not helping. Nobody never ask anything about the situation that goes on around here that myself and my wife have. And I could take the wife out the picture of what I have because a lot of people dump things on me. And it's not like I don't sit there and try to tell people things to help them. If you ever get in trouble, you ever get in a jam, you know, have you some backup money, uh, invest in this, have you some insurance, Sh try to show them how to do it. They don't want to do it. Then when it comes to something that they don't want to do, what they do is taxes or looking at insurance policies, legal things of that nature, instead of sitting here and learning, because I'm trying to help. See. I'm trying to lead you to the water and show you how to fish. I ain't trying to give you a fish. I'm trying to show you how to fish for yourself, lead you to the water. But when you dump all stuff on somebody else, you're not learning nothing. Then you're going to get upset because who didn't learn? Who didn't take the time to get the proper help that is being given? It ain't me because you're coming to me wanting help in a better off situation than me. Can move around freely, better criminal record, not hurt or hurt. What the F you want me to do? With that being said, this is the first episode of the DJ A. Sean podcast. What the F you want me to do? People, when you don't get no help, you can't depend on nobody for no help. It's nice to have, but you got to go out there and get it on your own. It is your man, DJ A. Sean, checking off. Peace.